Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the ABS or absolute node. I've gone ahead and pulled up this quick little example here and let's cover what it does. So our absolute node basically has one input, one output, and it has no parameters. And it's got a very simple function. Its intent in math is to give you the absolute value of an input. By absolute, it means without the negative operator. So for example, I have a negative one here. Now negative one, of course, is going to be below zero and zero, when you put it into a color, is going to give you black. So negative 10, negative one, zero are all going to return back a black color. And as you can see here, I have black for my output material. Now if I take this negative one and pipe it through my absolute, we're actually going to see the opposite effect. We're going to see white because again, the absolute node takes it, removes the negative operator, if any, and then returns back the result. So that is a use for the absolute operator. It's when you want to get a result and you don't want a negative value. So here's a common use for it. Let's unhook this and hook it into our sine wave driven by a time node. What we're going to see here is you're going to see something going from black to white. And you're going to actually see no period where it's staying black for any period of time. A sine wave, as I've explained in another video, goes from a 0 to a 1, down to a negative 1, back to 0. When we pipe this through the absolute, basically over our period, which is 4 seconds, any time it's going negative, it's actually going back to positive because our absolute is stripping the negative value. So we're actually seeing our node, sine node here, go from a 0 to a 1, down to a 0, and then any time it's supposed to go down to our negative loop here, it's going back up to 1, back to 0. So we're actually seeing something loop, for example, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, rather than 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. So you're basically clamping off your bottom part. That's all the absolute node is for. It's a really simple node. Use it if you don't want a negative value to either be accepted easily, or for example, you need to convert something out of a negative value. It's useful in, for example, if you're using the dot product node, a dot product, which is covered in another video, will give you a negative one to one, kind of like a sign, and sometimes you want to restrict it because you don't want the negative values. You want to clamp it basically at a zero. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.